Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Well, today I ran into a little situation. Um, I was working on some Arduino code. I, I, I'm, I'm passionately ever chasing, uh, trying to get an ESP32 to mine um, anything other than Duino coin. And it's, it's impossible. I mean, there's no way to do it. Um, I defy anybody out there to show me a way to use an ESP32 and mine anything except for Duino coin. All right. But today, something happened. Something a little different happened. I was doing some programming, and I, I, I shit you not, guys, the Arduino started typing in some stuff before I could even type it in. And it was doing some pretty weird crap, but I kind of liked what it was doing. It, it made sense when it was going through on the pool connects and stuff like that. And then uh, it came up with a pool to connect to, and it's called Blood Ledger. I'm like, what? Blood Ledger? So I looked it up. There is no pool out there called Blood Ledger. But I continued on. I got all of my hashing, my... Um, my nano JSON files and all that together, my SHA-256s and got it all set up. And then Arduino just added some other crap into it, just out of the blue. I looked at it and I go, yeah, that'll work. So, once I got the Arduino sketch all set up, I got an ESP32 and I also got it set up with a OLED display on it. So, After I uploaded it, it did start to mine. This thing was mining at like freaking 10,000 mega hashes a second. I think, well, no, the highest it went was like 9,500. Okay. And the thing started jumping on my table. So I disconnected it real quick and it was still jumping around. So I grabbed this box real quick. And it just so happens that this box is my first aid kit. The Arduino is still inside there. Now listen. What the heck is that? Alright guys, I'm going to open this up. And we are going to program it with the sketch. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that this thing is mining at 9,000. I think it said mega hashes. We're going to find out here in a second. So let me get you on top of the box here. We're going to apply power to this thing. And this box just so happens to be a first aid kit just in case I need it. Look at me. I'm shaking. Where is that little devil? Oh, there it is. Uh oh, no, hang on, guys. I gotta get this open so we can look in there. No, it's, it's not shaking anymore. I'm gonna put my hands on it. Okay. Look at me. All right. Let's put some power to it and get it hooked up. I'm gonna leave it inside here. Just in case I gotta close that, in case I gotta close the lid, lid real quick. All right. Now I'm gonna slide you guys over here. I'm gonna slide that over there so that I can close this box easier. All right. You guys can watch that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna get to the Arduino sketch, and then we'll apply it and see what this thing does. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go here. And here's the sketch. All right, this thing is called a shadow hasher. That's what I named it. I, I, I just figured, hey, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, get this thing. I'll give it a proper name. All right, so look down here, guys. It was mining on the blood ledger. 9,147.2 giga hashes and that's when it started freaking out shaking 
I took the power off of it and it was still shaking, I tell you. Scared the heck out of me. All right. I'm going to throw this uh I'm going to uh, I'm going to go down here first. I got to make sure I'm on the right uh, right port for this. It may have said blood port or something. All right, COM3. So let's just make sure the tools are set up right. COM3, yep. ESP development, yep, that's all set. Okay, here we go. Shadow hash. And the default for the, for because this does put out an AP, um, the SSID is shadow hash. And the password for it is dark secret. All right, I'm going to dump it. Now, what I have in the sketch, I've already got my credentials in there, so it's going to automatically start um, mining on Blood Ledger with my uh, information. But I'll show you how to get into the AP and put your own stuff in. All right, here we go, guys. I hope this thing's going to be all right and it doesn't start jumping around again. What better place to have it than inside of a, you know... First aid kit. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to bring you guys back while this is loading. I'll just bring you back to this. All right. It's still there. Got the bandages ready just in case. I'm going to go back. Go back to Arduino. All right. This is a pretty good size file, guys. So it's going to take a minute or two. So you can just watch it go by. And then like I, uh, I put in my uh, Bitcoin address and everything, it works fine. You can just go out and get whatever Bitcoin address you want. Um, but I just gotta tell you, it does a weird thing. You take your Bitcoin address and you put it into the AP, the access point, and it changes it to some kind of encrypted um, wallet address. It's actually your wallet address, but it encrypts it. It's weird. I'll show you. All right, here we go, guys. It's uploading. I'm going to bring you back so you can watch. So you can watch this thing come alive. All right. Oh, here we go. It's starting up. What does that say, guys? Oh, man. Come on. Focus. Uh, let's go zoom. And then I'm going to focus it, guys, so you can see this. Not that way. That better? Better? Uh, right there. What's that? Looks like a pumpkin. The blood ledger is watching you. <laughs> so that's on shadow hash. The Wi-Fi is okay. The pool is blood ledger. Um, you can put your own worker name in there. Um, then you put your, well, um, the blood ledger, I believe it hides your BCC coin wallet. The hash rate. Look at that, guys. 9,000 freaking giga hashes. All right. Come on back here to the internet, and we're going to open up the AP. All right. So let's go here to the AP. Go over here to your, um, your Wi-Fi. There's shadow hash. You go connect. And then you connect to it just like any other um, miner out there. You go to the uh, 192, 168, 4.1, 192.168.4.1. And if it doesn't let you win, go back over here because it may want you, it may be looking for the um, password, but I've already gone into this once, so it knows that I'm trying to access it. So it let me go in without a password, but if there is a password, it's dark secret. Whoa, 
Look at this freaking AP terminal. That's crazy. All right. It's going to ask, it's asking me for my BTC address. I got it saved right here. I'm going to copy and bring this down and I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, it scrambled it. What the heck, guys? Look at this. Fear the devil. <laughs> that is some kind of encryption right there. All right, so what's my worker name going to be? I'm going to go Widow Straw. Widow Straw. I knew a Widow Straw once. Um, the SSID, that is going to be my Netgear password. Six, five, eight. What the? Any last wishes? <laughs> now this is getting creepy. Any last wishes? Uh, don't burn my house down. I'll put please. Maybe it'll listen to me. Don't burn my house down, please. Warning, shadow hash is always watching. That must be what when that Ola goes across with that pumpkin. It's looking at you. Initiate. All right, guys, it just rebooted over there. Hang on. I want to bring you back. It's rebooting. Okay, it rebooted. And that thing is flying at 9,000 giga hashes. Oh, I gotta reset this thing. Reset. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Oh, we gotta bring this back into autofocus. Turn autofocus on. Okay, guys. What do you think? That thing is scary. It did. It, it was jumping all over the guy. It, it, it was jumping all over the place. <laughs> you guys believe any of that? I, I hope a lot of you guys out there know this is a fake. Correct? Everybody knows it's fake. Hands raised. This is a fake miner. It's a joke miner. I don't want to get a whole bunch of... People saying, hey, how do you get that thing to do 9,000 freaking giga hashes? It's fake, guys. I developed it just for the Halloween season. And if you guys are interested in grabbing that script, and I'll actually, uh, with the script, I will send along, okay, the ESP32 and the OLED. Um, I don't know if... Um, the first one I send out is going to have the board. No, all of them are going to have the board. I'll get some boards. But it'll come to you just like that. All right? And uh, all you have to do is, I mean, I can upload the Arduino sketch for you if you like. Um, or you can upload it. It's your choice. But you will get the sketch um, and all the information you need. And that way you can adjust it to however you want it to look. Okay? You can play around with the sketch. All right? Um, I'm going to be selling these on the website that's right here on YouTube uh, called uh, Coffee, uh, K-O-F-I. Okay, you'll see some links on my videos. But if you guys want one of these, I'm going to have them for sale in my store, in my coffee store. All right? So anyways, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me some comments. Get ready for Halloween. Grab one of these. Set it up. Show your friends. Again, guys, it's fake. It's not, it's not hashing at 9,000. All right, guys, see you on the next one.